Senator Blumenthal spoke about his most recent meeting with President Zelensky in East Hartford today, urging increased aid and stronger support for Ukraine. They can win if we provide them the support that they need. Blumenthal once again calling for Congress to pass $24 billion in additional aid for Ukraine just a day after President Zelensky lobbied for more funding on Capitol Hill. I think his visit really had an effect on a number of my colleagues who are on the fence. Hesitation to more aid has grown in Congress, specifically among House Republicans, but Blumenthal says it's a tiny minority. There's still overwhelming bipartisan support, and I think President Zelensky's visit helped to crystallize and bolster it. Support unwavering among the public, too. Refugee organizations in Connecticut say they're welcoming in about 25 new Ukrainians every month. It's rapidly become one of our biggest programs. These individuals are coming directly from a conflict zone. And so the sense of displacement is so fresh that they really need a sense of connection. She says they're currently serving about 500 Ukrainian refugees in Connecticut. Although nobody can really project how many might come with each month, at the same time, I think the U.S., particularly the U.S. American public, they have the capacity to keep helping. Friday, Blumenthal hoping Congress also has that capacity. Americans need to understand how our national security is at stake in Ukraine. And Blumenthal tells me speed is important, saying Congress needs to act on this supplemental aid for Ukraine within the next few weeks. Reporting in East Hartford, Emma Wolforst, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.